All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to whatever this is. I am Nate Nefarious, and uh, we're playing something that I've been looking forward to doing for several months now. We are playing a little game called Homebody. It's an indie horror game uh, made by Jory Griffiths of Game Grumps fame. Um, he's not Aaron Hansen or Dan, you know, the two uh, main guys. But uh, he's involved in a lot of the behind the scenes stuff and uh, develops uh, some of the project, the game projects that they've had and stuff. What's up, little man? How you doing, man? Happy Friday, sir. But uh, yeah, so I guess we're just going to jump into this. Uh, is a homebody like a dad body? Uh, sure, sure. We'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> What's up, Ohan? How you doing, man? Hello, everybody. How we doing tonight? How we doing tonight? I'm very confused. It says one concurrent viewer, so I guess we're doing that again. But hey, guys. Uh, yeah. What do you say we just drop into it? There it is. Now it says four. That's a better number. We're going to play this in English. Just because, you know, I mostly speak English. Like 99.6% of the time. Good, man. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear you're good. I took off work today because I was feeling like hot garbage probably until about, I don't know, one o'clock. Oh, yeah. So the controller wasn't wanting to work properly when I was testing this out earlier. I'm going to try it again and see how it goes. But we may end up having to do mouse and key. Guess we'll just find out. Hey Emily! You're not giving up already, are you? Yes, I mean, no, I'm on my way there, kinda. Hey, what's up, Shiny Spidey? How you doing, man? Welcome back. Hey, Queenie. By Game Grumps, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, it was developed uh, primarily, I believe, the lead designer was Jory Griffiths, um, who works more, like, behind the scenes and helped develop uh, Dream Daddy and all that stuff. Yeah, it is Lucy Fur. She has uh, decided to grace us with her... Regal presence tonight. I'm good. I'm good, Spidey. I'm good, man. Glad to hear you're doing well. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, what the hell was I saying? Uh, Game Grumps, Jory, um, yes. I guess that's about, I guess that's about all there is to the story, so. No. Are you panicking? Do you need to pull over? I already did. I'm at the side of the road. Already did what? Panicked or pulled over? Pulled over. I've got... Oh, I've got 26 unrest... Unrestages. Okay. Unread messages from my friends, and I know it's going to be bad news. I've been sitting at the side of the road for 20 minutes just trying to stay calm. But I don't think I can handle it. I I'm thinking about turning around. And you were hoping I'd give you permission? I would like permission to turn around, yes. Look, you're not going to a funeral. You're going to a cool old house to hang out with your friends and watch a meteor shower. Unrested messages. <laughs> you do this every year and you always seem to have a good time. First things first, hands on wheel. Key in ignition, start driving. I can relate so hardcore to her anxiety here. Like 100%. Like, immediately, immediately relatable character. <laughs> this game is a mood indeed. <sighs> okay. Hey, what's up, Landon? How you doing, buddy? Welcome. Happy Friday. So, just, I don't know if y'all can see it. What, what, what's that right there? Ta -da. Is that is that a guy? Is that a dude? I think it's a dude. There you go. That wasn't creepy. 
Not at all. No, sir. You know, it feels like you haven't left the apartment in weeks. Being in the middle of nowhere and watching a meteor shower doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not that. It's like... They're sending me, like, pages and pages of instructions on how to get into this weird old house they rented. Like, there's a keypad on the gate and Gary sent me the code, but I just know I'm gonna get locked out somehow and I'm gonna run out of gas trying to get back. This sound, this sounds like me, o immediately overwhelmed with a whole bunch of instructions, so the ADD kicks in, and then the anxiety of reliving, you know, that, like, cognitive dysfunction and, like, it's just, it's so, a hundred percent, like, I get it. I totally get that. And then starting to catastrophize based on past experience and projecting into the future. Frustrated, your friend put something in your book about you and you can't read it because it's in Spanish. Plug it into, uh, plug it into Google Translate, if you must know. If you must know what it says. Try Google Translate. The cops are going to find me a week from now, a skeletal husk behind the wheel of my car, clutching my phone. You're spinning yourself in circles, Em. You're fine. You're safe. They miss you. It's just more of an opportunity to let them down. I'm already, like, four hours late. It's going to be another hour before I even get there. I don't think another hour is going to make things that much worse. Would it hurt to just be honest with them about it? I don't know. I guess I don't know how to say I wasted a bunch of time stalling because I didn't want to come and not make it weird. Also relatable. Things are already weird enough. I haven't spoken to any of them in almost a year. You really- You really think they won't forgive you for that? I think it doesn't matter what I think. I, I think I'm panicking. Emily. <sighs> <sighs> What are you- oh. What are you so afraid of? I cannot survive in this capitalist dystopia. <laughs> you can recall important facts from your memory log. Press start to open your memory log, okay? We got a text from Gary. Call back if you see this. We're going to the Kroger down the road. Sorry if we miss you. The gate combination is the third number on the post-it. See you soon. And the combination for somebody's briefcase is 420. Also relatable. <laughs> Check the keypad, okay. Well, he said f the third number, so it's gonna be eight. One, two, nine. Eight, six, seven, eight, one, two, nine. And yes, the cutscenes are just choppy like that. It's part of the design for some reason. I also can't play this in 1080, or I can't play this in a resolution above 1080p. It will not scale. 1080 is the uh, largest the game, is the largest option the game gives you. It's weird. Oh, hey, Cliff. Damn. Wow. Wow, cold shoulder. There she is, the star of the show! Don't... why... oh god, why do you have to put all this attention on me all at once? No, 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 please, for the love of god, no. Oh. I'm watching in 144p. <laughs> yeah, no, I got that. Um, it's, just, it's just weird because, like, I'm, I'm seeing it on my large monitor. And it's like all grainy and weird. I mean, it, it actually adds to the aesthetic. It looks pretty cool and retro, but um, it's just weird. Okay. All right. What, what, what kind of voice is Francine going to have? They're finally here. Yeah, long drive, huh? It wasn't... Oh, it wasn't that bad. I think all in all, it was like three and a half hours. Felt more like six from here. We were getting worried about you. Hey, what's up, Matthew? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I say the closest thing to the truth is I ran into car trouble because, you know, ran into mental trouble and had to stop the car and pull off to the side of the road. 
I mean, that tracks. It's, it's, it's a white lie. It's a stretch. But it's the closest thing to the truth. You know what I mean? Uh, I almost ran out of gas on the way over. I had to go way, I had to go way out of the way to find a gas station. Don't be too embarrassed, Em. I forgot to turn on the headlights on the way out last, last night. What a dumbass. <laughs> My brain was just like, can I usually see better than this? Okay, which one's Megan? Megan is the one on the right. He actually said that out loud. And hey, I take it you got my text message. Yup. All of them. Cool. We were worried about you, or we were worried you wouldn't be able to get inside. I'm having trouble reading tonight for some reason. Did Pete have any trouble getting here? Actually, uh, Pete isn't here yet. He's about 33 hours late. Yeah, he was supposed to be here last night. Wait, okay, I'm getting my I'm getting my female voices confused now. Uh, bit tired, but refuse to go to bed yet. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that 100%. Yeah, man, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I I wasn't feeling well this morning and had to take the day off work, but I'm feeling better after you know, recharging my batteries and not um, living 10 hours of like just pure anxiety and mental stress. <laughs> um. I just woke up with a really bad splitting headache, and uh, I managed to uh, shake it over the course of the day. Uh, let's see, Francine is... what is her voice? Worst of all, the owner of the house didn't want to let us in before everyone named the rental, named on the rental was here. Yeah, like a server at Olive Garden not wanting to seat us until our whole party had arrived. It took some convincing for him to let us stay. Is, is that why Mr. Nest gave us an hour of instructions on how not to wreck the place? I think he would have done that either way. He didn't strike me as the kind of guy who gets a lot of company. Not to be mean. Was that too mean? You're fine. Anyway, come on in, Emily. Make yourself comfortable. For real, we've got some catching up to do. How long has it been since I last saw you? Like, a year? Yeah, don't keep us waiting any longer. <sighs> Hey, why don't I take your bag for you? Uh, okay. Hey, everybody's really happy to have you here. I am too. Thanks, Francine. Means a lot, it's just... It's still a lot, you know? But yeah, like, I, I can... 100% relate to the whole the social anxiety uh that is freaking palpable this game has already succeeded in making me uncomfortable and nothing severely horrifying has happened yet you can use the interact reveal button to show interactive objects in the environment hold lb to highlight everything nearby that can be interacted with okay great all right it appears yeah, okay, looks like, yeah, looks like all my buttons are working. That's good, that's good. Okay, so we got a clack. Let's look at the clack. Uh, it's being kind of dinky. Okay, there we go. Long go. Okay. Weird. It is, I think, 550? You found a solution. What solution is that? You know, I'm not feeling turning the lights off. I think that's a bad idea. Let's check the suitcase. Ah, we know the code for this. Yeah, 420 blaze it, bro. Let's go. Okay, inspect. This is what I packed? I know I was in a hurry, but this is two pairs of pants and no underwear. What the hell? This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Also, the fact that she took a picture of the uh, combination of her own suitcase combination and it's 420, just to remember it, is hella relatable. Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? Talk to Cliff. Hey, Cliff. Oh, hey. Who are you again? Damn. 
Damn, he is he is not happy with us right now. He is not happy. It's like we we haven't even spoken in a year. <laughs> This binder is full of pages and pages of notes on how to care for the house and its contents. I flipped through it a bit. Asking your ex. He's taking a Spanish class. <laughs> Gotta eat dinner. All right, Ohan, we'll see you when you get back. Hope you enjoy your, uh, your dinner. Your Friday dinner. Your friner. Fry dinner. Whatever. Have fun. All right, uh, it's open to a page about the cellar and the attic being off limits. It gets weirdly personal about what an invasion of privacy it would be to go into these areas without permission. There's something about a fee for emotional damages. Cool. Great. Fantastic. All right, what do we got in the kitchen, eh? Examine the burner. You got tea on? Okay. All right. Spec pamphlet. What's cooking? Fire safety in the kitchen. What? Why is there? Why is there red stuff on the counter? What's what's happening? What's cooking? Fire safety in the kitchen. Remember, food isn't the only thing you can burn. Always be careful when cooking. First degree burns. The burn may appear swollen and red. A first degree burn only affects the first layer of skin. Oh, let's turn the pot off, shall we? It. It's not turning off. Or, wait, which way is off and which way is on? Are you going to turn it off? Okay, see you, Cliff. <laughs> hey, Megan. I don't want to make you uncomfortable, Emily, but I am so glad you're here. Uh, why, why would that make me uncomfortable? just like i know how stressful it is to feel seen like that you know that's sweet it's a good scene francine was actually pretty worried you weren't gonna come she said you've been really busy with work lately you and francine oh yeah you and francine must hang out all the time since she moved out there huh uh yeah for sure totally <laughs> Speaking of which, sorry again that I'm so late. I haven't been in town for a while, so my mom is being needy. Jeez, yeah, I hope she's holding up okay. But I mostly hope you're holding up okay. And anyway, we're still waiting on Pete. Cliff was kind of shitty when I said hi to him. Have you noticed anything? Other than his whole deal for the past 10 years, you mean? No, I haven't. You know how cold he can be. I'm sure he's just being shitty for shittiness's sake. He's avoiding eye contact, Megan. Emily, I get startled when Cliff does make eye contact. But now that I think of it, he's been rude to me too. He hasn't been himself when he isn't talking to Gary. I guess I just chalked that up to him being a jerk. Let me go say hi to the other kids. Wait, by the way, have you heard the house rules yet? Yeah, I found the binder on the kitchen table. It seems... exhaustive. Yep, the guy who owns the place is pretty exhausting in general. There's a bed made up for you in the little bedroom by the study. Take your time unpacking, though. We're not gonna be up to anything for a while, so you can get settled in. Great. What is she playing, anyway? Just stand in front of purred mystery. <laughs> okay. Whoa, retro. Amazing how these things feel so brittle, but somehow they last forever. Oh, hey, let's talk to Gary. Hey, Gary. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? Friend, buddy, buddy, friend guy. Hey, Emily. Gary, who are you talking to? I don't see anyone else here. Jeez, okay, Cliff. Uh, anyway. Uh, I guess, Gary, we haven't really caught up in a while. We haven't. Not that things have, not that things have actually changed. And that's mostly a good thing. I'm still noodling around in Illustrator all day at the glove factory. And hanging with Megan and Cliff a bunch. Life is pretty good. Things are good at the glove factory? 
Things are great at the glove factory. They're starting to branch out into, like, hospital clothes, and R&D keeps me at a distance, but I've been hearing rumors about doggy shoes. <laughs> All right. Doggy shoes? Doggy shoes. It's an exciting time. <laughs> anyway, things are good. I was out the other night with some friends. We went to a dive bar nearby to low-key celebrate my pal Ashley's lizard's birthday. <laughs> okay, we drank too much in honor of the little bastard and ended up at one of those touristy pick-and-mix candy shops, which is not a good thing for a drunk person to have access to. You just get too excited and start grabbing all the things you loved as a kid and then you realize that gummy cola bottles suck and it's like, why did I get so many of these? Anyway, it was pretty dumb fun, but nonetheless, you do anything exciting lately? I went to breakfast with Laura last week. Uh, fun! Alright. So do people not really care for Laura or something? Uh, I'm gonna go say hi to the other kids. Later! Alright. Is that... Have we talked to everybody? Oh, let's read the guest book. What a wonderful year I spent living in this thriving little hub to bang your head against the wall over an album that just won't come together. Painful. But when it's a group of friends all struggling to wring the creativity out of their addled brains, divine. It would be great if I could remember more of it. Made by the Maybe by the time a future guest reads this, getting hot water in the upstairs shower, shower will no longer require an intricate ritual of faucet jiggling and prayers to God. Knowing Parker, I doubt it. 1977 to 1978. 76 to 78. 81. 84 to 86. Dear God. Summer 06. Why are all the... All the times are completely out of order. What the hell is going on there? Hello? What is this? Fluid in this tank is the source for all the pumps in the house. When improperly calibrated, pumps positioned above this tank will drain automatically with gravity. For pumps positioned below, a manual drain will be necessary using this button. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Turn the light on. I don't care for this. Press the button for the garage door opener. Oh, that's the wrong one. It does nothing. The light is on, so it seems to be getting power. It must be broken. Guess the front door is the only way out. Okay. So I can't fully turn on the light in here. Alright. Now I know from... Hey, Absol. How's it going? Oh, here's the stairs. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I was about to say, I know there's an upstairs, I just don't remember how to get there. Now I remember. It's a weird room. Another weird room. The Bhagavad Gita. Oh, God, Jesus. Ooh. Uh, uh thunder. Thunderstrike got me a little bit, not gonna lie. I don't like the red, the one red door at the end of the hall. I don't care for that at all. What is this? Oh god. That one's locked. Okay. Weird noises coming from in there, too. Examine the post it note. So how are you tonight, Absol? How's it going? Happy Friday. Next to the keypad diagram, there's a sticky note. All that's on it is a number written in thin, open block letters. Okay. Weird. Oh, I see. I can use the right stick to toggle between... Okay, that makes, that makes selecting items a lot easier. Flyer for an electronic lock from the 80s. 
Okay. Oh, a handwritten note. Someone will be coming by from the electronics company to do the installation. Have them set the passcode as specified on the form and lock up the schematic plus combination in the cellar cage when done. Do not let them enter the attic. Thank you, P. Parker, why are you suddenly so obsessed with security? Why would someone even want to go in your attic? I want to see you leave the house again someday. Okay, so this guy was a shut-in who probably slowly kind of lost his sanity, I'm guessing. Oh, we're playing Minesweeper, bro, let's go. Any of y'all know how to play Minesweeper? This is some old school shit. All right, so we're gonna select that one. Okay, so that means there's no bombs here. This one, okay, the number means that there are that many bombs adjacent to that square. Now that can be left, right, up, down, or diagonal. Tired, but gotta finish the commissions. Gotcha. Well, don't, again, do not rush with uh, with mine. Not, uh, not a big deal. <laughs> She's mad at you now and told you you will never find out. <laughs> oh, God. I'm telling you, man, you type it into Google Translate. You, uh, that's, that's the way to go. All right, so there's one square adjacent to either of these. Um... And two adjacent to this one. Ah. There's only one adjacent to this. And two to this one. So that means it has this... Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. I did that right. And then that one. Okay. So that's definitely one. We don't know which one this is. We know these two are. So we got a one in three chance of, of one of these being a bomb here. All right, all right, we're clear. We're clear. And that doesn't help out a whole hell of a lot. I'm just going with this one. Hey, got it. Okay, so. So that, okay, this one's not. Yeah, I did it. Hell yeah, I won Minesweeper, everybody. It's the first time I played Minesweeper in years. <laughs> oh, not that old, bro. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure they still put Minesweeper on Windows. Hang on a second. No, they don't. Windows does not come with Minesweeper anymore. I'll be damned. I am legitimately surprised. That was... It was... Windows used to always come with Solitaire and Minesweeper. You know what Sol... What's that noise? Oh, oh, hi, hi there. Hey, hey, Megan, or Me is that? No, that's Francine. Francine, what are you doing? There's, oh, something horrible is happening. Francine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, this is, this is bad. All right, we're going downstairs. We're going downstairs. No, 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 thank you. Oh, I didn't even think about it. My face cam is covering up her uh, scared face. Okay. Uh, does pausing it not pause it? Yes, it does. Okay. All right. I'm going to fix the face cam real quick so that I'm not blocking that. Hmm, where are we going to put me? I guess I'll just move myself underneath. I don't know. That'll work for now. There. Nate, you are gonna go right here. Okay. I guess that's that's not ideal. Uh damn. Hmm. I don't know. I'll make myself a little smaller for now and I'll just have to figure that out uh further for next time, I guess. Yeah, I guess that works. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And we're dead. We died. We died for the very first time already. Fantastic. Um, okay. Well, that's great. Got a title screen. Was it supposed to happen? I don't know, maybe that's just the death screen. Hold up. 
No, 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 no. I've still got... I've still got memories from the desk note and Minesweeper. Oh. So, I think we were supposed to die there, and I've got memories from that last life. We found a log of, like, a visitor's log, and it was not in chronological order. Uh, so I think we are in a time, in a one big giant time fuck here, I think is what's happening. Uh, time doesn't work like time wherever we are. That's great. Okay, uh, burns, burns, burns. Very interesting, and everyone's still alive. That's good. Well, I don't know, where's Francine? She was upstairs, but Gary was upstairs in the hallway where the killer was coming at me, so... Pretty sure that guy died. Pretty sure. Okay, let's talk to Francine. We haven't talked to her yet. Oh, hey, Emily. Oh, yeah, that's what was her voice. Oh, hey, Emily. Glad you can make it. Your room's down the hall. What just happened? What the fuck is happening? Good to see you too, Francine. So, we picked the... <laughs> the scared dialogue option, the one, you know, that acknowledges what just happened, and it's not what she says. Okay, that's weird. Are you... are you doing alright? Something came for us. It's still here. I'm I'm fine. Sorry, sorry I'm late. I Emily, don't Emily, don't take this too harshly, but you look exhausted. I'm serious, Francine. Something is wrong. I was already here. We already did this. Yeah, just stressed out from family stuff, I think. I feel a little guilty about leaving my mom's place. I'm glad to have finally made it here though. This is gonna be a good night. Uh, good. I'm glad to hear it. This isn't something... This isn't right. Somebody else has to know what's up. I'm gonna go say hi to the other kids. <laughs> See you, Emily. Screen tearing is getting on my nerves, and I swear, I swear. Thought I turned on V. Oh, V Sync isn't an option here. Weird, weird. Hang on a second. Let me uh, let me fix that real quick. Guess I'm gonna have to manually enable V Sync through. Where should call it? Is it gonna? Open NVIDIA control panel? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Not G-Sync. Let's manage 3D settings. Uh... Program settings. Okay, we are playing... Homebody. Homebody, there we go. Add selected program. Vertical sync. On. Why? We'll see if that fixes the tearing. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. I think it might have. Oh, uh, what? There we go. That was weird. Oh, the computer smashed. It's, damn, it's still tearing. Whatever. So it is what it is. Figure that out next time. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Eulogy for the Chosen Few. Holy lightning strikes thrice. You are baptized in the great gunshot of it. The halo your skull makes against the night. There is little to do but welcome it, that swallowing dark. Welcome what moves beneath your flesh. Great the worms in your lungs. Here they are at home. 
Look to that distant star, that cold, coy wink, and rejoice. A new you is risen. Emerge from your skin, then. Discard the husk. You will not recognize the thing you used to be. From the dirt and from the skies, we have made you whole. From your hands falls a soft summer rain. From your eyes, a cleansing fire. Cherish your rewards and look back upon the path you created to paradise. An altar, a chapel, that sacred place where you confessed the things you thought you were better than. Weird. The things you thought you were better than. Oh, I'm just hi Okay, we don't need to hide yet. Not yet, but probably soon. Okay, so what... I'm so bad at these. Pretty much, pretty much just hit them randomly until it works. <laughs> That's what I do with a Rubik's Cube. That's not entirely true. I don't know. I guess Rubik's Cube is more complicated than this, but... Eh. Don't make sense! Come on. Come on, let's go. best friend has come to the rescue. Well, that's good. <laughs> oh, I hate these. I don't understand. I see. Okay, so each one of Oh, 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 oh. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Wow. Okay. Uh, where was I? Okay, so each one toggles each one of the side like middle ones toggles um the three in a row and the middle one. Okay. The middle one toggles the four outer and the corners toggle the the two it toggles the corner and the two adjacent to it. Okay. All right. Let's see if knowing that strat helps me at all. Okay. How can I... What they wrote is not PG friendly. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, 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 God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, goddamn Francine. Oh, my God. Oh, she scared the balls off of me. Oh, I no longer have balls. Ooh. Okay. Um. Damn it. they wrote now <laughs> I 
Alright, let's start fresh. So that's all of them off, right? Let's turn the middle on. And go... What if we just go in a straight line around the edge? Is that going to do anything? Well, I screwed up the order. I went around. Uh, or I went back. Oh, Goddamn, Francine. Oh, you gotta stop. You gotta stop spooking me like that, lady. Come on! I can do this! I'm not... I'm not a puzzle guy. <laughs> I'm not the puzzle guy. Um... Noises are getting spookier, and I don't like it. Oh, no. Oh, he's here. Oh, God! Okay, how do I run? How do I run? How do I run? There's a run button. I did this earlier. There it is. Dude, look out. Look at oh, Gary! Gary! Gary, kid! Come, Gary, come on! What are you... Great! Gary's dead. Fantastic! Um, okay, I'm going downstairs. Oh, God. Let's just try. Just... Uh, oh, God. Okay, whatever. I already know I'm not going to be able to get out the front. Oh, hey, look. This is open now. This seems good. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a lot of puzzles. There's a lot of puzzles. Oh, no. This game's all puzzles. Oh, God, no. Hi there, bud. Hi, you friggin' freak. Friggin' freakazoid over here. Jesus. Two heavy gauge cables, one orange, one blue, lead from the ceiling down into the floor. Okay. Hey, guys. Guys, you alright? Yeah, you look freaked out, too. I'm, so I'm not the only one, right? Right? We're gonna be fine if we stick together, right? Right? Oh, no. Did I just hear... What did I just hear? Oh, God. Come on. Oh, no, not... Cl well, Cliff was a dick. He deserved it. Ah, not so much Megan. No, not Megan. Oh, Lord, give it. Lord, take it away. I'm going upstairs. Going upstairs. We're just going to jiggle this light puzzle around and try and... Oh, hi, Gary. He's still dead. That's great. Uh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's Gary, he's dead, there's blood soaking through his clothes, this can't be happening! Oh god. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna randomly hit it. Boom. Hit, yep, 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 uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. That thing is coming. You can hear it. Damn it. Fucking God. I literally can't do this. coming I don't think he's hot on my heels right now though <sighs> damn it oh yeah here he comes oh hi there 
Oh, this is new. Oh god. Oh, I'm screwed. There's no yeah, there's no way out. Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. Nope. There we go. We're dead again. Oh, Jesus. This is <laughs> This is a lot of puzzles. We might end up turning to our old friend the internet a lot on this one. I just hope there's enough body of data on the internet to help. Hello? Buddy? Anybody here? No? Okay, it's fine. I recognize you. Huh? You're the one with a sense of being better than the things you're better than. I understand where you come from. I've been there. I am there. What? 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 Can, can I help you? I'm trying very hard to leave there. If you're anything like me, you're probably expecting a reward, but winning only gets you in deeper. Are you trying to find a way to keep your elbows clean? I'm there with you. I see your left arm raise. I'm curious about the state of your right eye. I'm just trying to gas up my car, dude. I'm gonna get going now. Who do you show your ticket to? Are you going to the train station? The rubble aside the train station? Are you going beneath the train station? Have, have a good night. Bye. That was weird. That was real weird. Okay, let's try this again. I guess I'm just gonna keep banging my head against this damn wall puzzle. My brain doesn't even want to tussle with these other puzzles. Yeah, that sorta of rhymes. Puzzle, puzzle, tussle. Tussle the puzzle. Eh. Oh, there we go. Just had to hit the corners, all four corners, and then the middle. Okay, now let's leave. Did anything happen? What did that accomplish? Oh, that's not there anymore. That opening is gone. Oh, I forgot. I could have hidden in the closet right there before. Okay. So I guess a lot of these puzzles aren't even going to be available until he shows up. That sucks. Check drawers. Well, 12 was on the one post-it note. 110. I guess this is what that 12 sticky note was all about. Inside drawer 12 is a ripped piece of paper. It's page 110. The text is about something called The Watcher that the writer or protagonist is afraid of. Where is the book this is missing from? Hmm. Good. Wonderful. Okay. Drawer contains receipts for construction projects, a lot of sheet metal and rebar. The drawer is full of bees. Dead bees individually encased in tiny plastic trays, but still. Weird. Empty. Full of Christmas ornaments. Very small drawer for Christmas ornaments. The drawer is full of rulers of various shapes and sizes. Full of tiny unmarked vials. Rocks. Small plastic baby figurines. Jesus. Rubber bands. Man, they just snap back. The drawer is full of dirt. Some mysteries are best left unsolved. <laughs> Various die. Six-sided, 12-sided, 20-sided. Well, 11 is the D&D &D drawer, ladies and gents. And others. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did 12. Screws. Yeah, screw you. Full of pens. Okay, pen 15. Uh, tiny skulls. Probably. Mice? Let's go with mice. Yeah, sure. George just has an empty can of some off-brand energy drink. Okay. 
Great. Hey, guy, how, how we doing? How we doing? You all really went in on the artificial stuff, huh? Our receipt was half fruit snacks. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this weekend. I, I don't usually eat that stuff, but it just feels right right now, you know? Sure, nostalgia and all that. Sure. I love artificial stuff, though, like blue raspberry. Blue raspberry doesn't make sense. It's literally not based on anything. There's no such thing as a blue raspberry, but we're comfortable with it entirely as a product. Pink lemonade is the same. It's alien and bizarre, and that's why I love it. Actually, pink lemonade is a traditional drink. Historically, it gets its pink color from strawberries, or with the addition of sumac. And sumac is actually a plant that grows around here. No shit? None. Hi, Emily. Oh, hey, Emily. Do you remember something messed up just now? Like, I had this weird dream of something scary happening. That would have been a welcome that would have been a welcome adrenaline spike, buddy. Remember that hills have eyes. Remember that hills have eyes slash Texas. I can't talk. Remember that hills have eyes slash Texas chainsaw situation in college. So you you don't remember us all getting murdered? Yeah, I do. We were driving southwards in the mountains, following signs for a rustic old family fun center. We thought it'd be good for a laugh. Yep, our smug, detached irony led us right into a creepy old ghost town. It was cartoonish. Gary, please, this time is so much more serious. Instead, she says, our car didn't stop for a second when we got to that abandoned go-kart track. Cliff peeled out of there so fast we barely even got a second look at the place. Still can't believe that wasn't a nightmare. Are you feeling okay, Emily? You look just like you did when we got out of there. You, you really can't hear me when I talk about what happened, can you? I guess it's just my imagination. <laughs> All right, well, do you know anything about a book with a monster called The Watcher? When we gonna arm wrestle for the last slice of pizza? Hmm. I guess when one of us can drag, uh, drag his ass halfway across the country. Or, you know, let a let a brother know when he's going, uh, when he's going, you know, to Gatlinburg. <laughs> um, do you know anything about a book with a... Oh, yeah, we asked that. The Watcher? Hmm. I remember hearing that somewhere. Hmm. Crap, it rings a bell, but I can't quite remember. Maybe you could ask Francine? She's good with books and whatnot. Does this house give you a Hills Have Eyes slash Texas Chainsaw vibe, or is that just me? I mean, it's a little more austere than, austere than Texas Chainsaw, but no, it's not just you. There's something unnerving about it. It's nice, but it's, like, too nice, you know? I've been looking around for hidden passageways, or at least a dumb waiter to hide in. Gonna also play Outlast Trials and eat pizza. <laughs> That's true, that would be hilarious, just play Outlast Trials and only play <laughs> the, uh, the arm wrestling simulator. Uh, my parents' house. The trees around here are so gnarly. Uh, does this house even have a dumb waiter? Me, I'm the dumb waiter. There is no way this house doesn't have a dumb waiter, or at least a lazy Susan. We're gonna have to settle for hiding in closets if something shows up looking to kill us. Now we just need our wacky friend who never takes anything seriously to do a fake-out masked killer prank. You know, as a misdirect. Uh, would that have been Pete? Shit, maybe you're right. That means he could be here, dressed like a scary clown at absolutely any moment. Arm wrestling in Outlast Trials is the new 1v1 rust. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, we're gonna leave it at that for now. Looks like we're going to have plenty more opportunities to talk to these folks, because we just keep showing up again. It's like everything's all right, but uh, funny, it's not. It's all right, but it's not. Or whatever. Let's examine the lock. What do we got here? Is this... The locking mechanism doesn't have power. A yellow cable leads from the lock mechanism into the other room. We gotta get out of here. What if that thing shows up again? The front door might be the only way out of here. I'll have to figure out this lock. 
Well, that means that's probably going to be the last piece of business to figure out. So I'm not going to worry so much about uh, the front door lock yet. Then again, it could just be a misdirect and we get out of the house and then... Oh, great. Where's all my stuff? It's... It's empty? There's no way I totally forgot to pack. What the hell? Clock ticking is spooky indeed. Yeah, I this might be my least favorite room in the house and it's not really the scariest per se. What's up, Sin? How you doing? Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Has the guest book changed any? No, it's still the same. Okay, so... Check the keypad. Why not? Let's try 420. No. Okay. Okay, so this keypad must uh, control the door to the basement. But that opens once Homeboy shows up. The most powerful thing you've ever done was making an at launch stream for a brand new, highly anticipated game and forgot to put the game under the genre. <laughs> nice. Oh, I wonder if that's why only the, uh, the usuals turned up last night. Interesting. Well, there's no fourth digit, but we can try 069. 8675069. Nope. Uh, 690? 696? 969? No. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Okay, so what was the deal with this pump again? The fluid in this tank is the source for all the pumps in the house. When improperly calibrated, pumps positioned above this tank will drain automatically with gravity. For pumps positioned below, manual drain will be necessary using this button. Okay, I, I don't... I'm not sure I understand that. Um, makes sense why your game wasn't promoted to anyone watching gaming content. Ah! Yeah, it absolutely would. Absolutely would. Well, hey, let's try 090690 here. Why not? Let's, uh, let's 69. I mean, one of the numbers is already 420, so you never know. Open door. Nope. Okay, what about 6969? Oh, God. Oh, the lightning. Oh, check balls. Okay. Ugh. Six nine six nine. How about now? Open door. Open sesame. No. Okay. Well, I tried. What does the newspaper say? The Chimpton Tipper, October eighth, nineteen seventy eight. Review: Carpenter's Deli at the end of its struggle. Pictured Carpenter's Deli at its heyday, its waitstaff surrounding the corner booth of, surrounding the corner booth of mainstay customer and self-described local guru Parker Nest. What a weird ass name. Some commenters noted a correlation between Nest disappearing from his daily lunches and the eventuality of Carpenter's downfall. Parker Nest. Ah, Nest was the uh, was the. Oh no. Oh, he's active. The store's open. All right, let's get down here. Since he hasn't aggroed us yet, or we haven't aggroed him, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, 20 by 2, 2 by 4, oak untreated, single panel oak finish sheeting. Uh, okay, I don't know. This is other stripping soundproofing. Kitchen chair should suffice. Okay, copper wiring. These arrange delivery directly to the house. I don't know. Oh, it's going to be the Minesweeper solution. Okay. All right. All right. All right. One, one, two. Okay. So the bombs are... All right. All right. All right. Right? Yeah. Or do I do it opposite? I'm not sure. Oh, that's weird. Oh, right, 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 right. Those were the only bombs. I, I misread that. Okay, check the power box. Okay. Turn the power back on. Cool. Examine the post-it. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, see, Urshan, no. <laughs> it's, it's a mine. 
Okay, what do we got here? Got a pump. Oh, well, we need liquid in it first. So how do we get liquid in it? Back the cabla. The orange cable from the first floor snakes down from the ceiling and disappears into a hole. <laughs> like your mom. Uh, part way up the wall. Well, like me in your mom. Uh, inspect cable. It's the blue cable I saw on the first floor. What's that sound? Anyway, it leads from the ceiling down through a hole in the wall. Oh, it's this thing making beep boops. Okay. And we have a keypad. It's another three digit. There are power tools going off behind this door somewhere, it sounds like. Really weird. Really weird. What do we have here? Read plaque. Of hollowed tubes and animal spirits. Clara Jones, hydraulic cylinders, oil, human blood, 1979. The body is a machine. The body is a house. The same blood, the same thoughts, recycled, gushing, cellar to attic, atrium to ventricle. There is beauty to the well-oiled symphony of it. The furnace of the heart, the electric grid of nerve endings, lungs stuffed with asbestos. The organ swelling proudly against the floorboards. Yeah, my organ swelling against the floorboards, am I right? <laughs> the crawl space is littered with the corpses of animals and the bodies of men. The lights are on. There's nobody home. But a body gets sick. Wood rots. Machines rust. Houses melt into something worse. Nature abhors a vacuum and will punish you for creating one. You will suffer the relentless function of your own decay. A body made to live, a machine built to die. It's very ominous. I'm really enjoying the, the whole like atmosphere and mood of this game. This is pretty cool, man. This is pretty good shit. Not budging. I think the locking mechanism is controlled by a nearby device. Oh, you don't say like this device? <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with this, though. It doesn't... Okay, so I, it's, there's nothing I can interact with here when I look at the screen. So there's going to be... Some, oh, is the keypad... Oh. So I guess this is like a double... Um, I can't remember what it's called. But basically when there's there's two, you know... There's two different functions you have to meet in order to pass the, you know, security clearance, essentially. But one is like a, a, a puzzle. I'm not sure what the, what the deal is with that. Let's check the iron door. Ugh. Okay, this is another one I'm missing context for, I think. I think. Oh, oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Okay, that's just great. Come on over this way, fella. I'm gonna loop you. We're just gonna loop you, kill you. Why, Absol? I would never. I mean, this this weirdo over here might. This, uh, this guy. Where is he? This guy right here, he might, if you ask him nicely. But, uh, what's wrong? What's going on? Francine, you might want to move your ass instead of just standing there petrified. Uh, would be advisable. Just saying. And I still don't understand, like, we did this and it doesn't seem to have changed anything. Oh, as soon as her face goes away, then he's not, um, this game don't look pretty good. Uh, I beg to differ, sir. This is fun and spooky. What's up, add-ons? How you doing, man? You're back. Hello, Landon. Welcome back. 
A day with Parker, 4, rise, 405, cold shower, 415, coffee, paper, ideation, 425, more ideation, 5, end of the watch, 11, rise again, re-energized, hot shower, pranayama, focus on the breath, zazen, ruminating upon cones, mostly regarding being beaten with a stick, TM, focus on the intake and release of energy. Accumulator key, cleaning and upkeep. Center my internal locus of control. Banish external negative energy. Lunch, post-lunch walk. Ideation. Accumulator observation meditation. Automatic drawing. Exploratory stream of consciousness writing. Nightcap, old-fashioned. Some grass, perhaps. Bro, this dude's weird. Your head hurts so bad. Oh, that sucks. I had a splitting headache when I got up this morning. Actually, like, part of the reason I didn't go into work. Uh, 22... Uh, right, right, right. That's 10 o'clock p.m. Preparation for liminal dreaming. Placing a bedstand journal for later transcription during the watch. An adaptation of Dolly's famous The Slumber with a Key technique on which I've iterated. Involving repeated periods of wakefulness, a gentle flirtation with the beginning stages of REM. There was once a natural medieval habit of second sleep and a period of wakefulness referred to as the watch. Oh, that's right. I've heard about that between the first sleep and second. This was used as the most productive time of the day in which a family accomplished most of their tasks. I adopted this practice for myself and find similar generative results. Spooky. Good. Glad to hear it, man. Plans. What the hell is that? Parker, I've tempered my doubts about the accumulator up to this point, but a lightning rod? Really? This isn't some old movie serial. Even if electricity did work that way, what are you planning to use it for, you big friggin' buffoon? Soon I will be just as the modern Prometheus. This guy, um... He's something. He's something, alright. Got here. Is he coming? Here whirring. I don't know. I'm just gonna try and figure this out. If he comes, he comes, and I die. That's it. Oh, nope, here he, yeah, here he comes. Okay, well, we're gonna die. Okay, and we're dead. There it is. Once again, dead again. Well, you know what time it is? It's time for some kombucha. Do the booch! Do the do- Whoa, what? Hey, Emily! Oh, hey, Pete. Mysterious missing guy. Pete? I know that look on your face. You've been tying yourself in knots, running this night through your head over and over again, trying to think of a way out. You see the house with its door locked and power out. Some kind of walking metaphor roaming its halls. You see me in the woods with my throat slit. Am I right about that last part? No, you just flaked on us. I don't blame you for thinking that. Good thing the cellar opens up on its own, huh? I know you're technically not supposed to go down there, but you're technically not supposed to get murdered either. The note in the main bedroom made it seem like the combination is down in the cellar somewhere in some kind of cage. Could that be the cage with a color bar lock on its door? Okay, that's all I have for now. See you again soon. Bye! You weird son of a bitch bastard. What is happening? Oh! It begins again. Alright, so I guess each time I have to wait for the basement to become available, but obviously there are things I can do in the meantime. The question is what? What? In what order? When? Where? How? Why? Let's check the memory log. Um, whoa! Oh no. What did I do? Okay, well it does have autosave, so I can just drop right back into it. 
Got my switch controller buttons confused again. Yay. Imagine that. Me getting buttons confused. <laughs> that never happens. No, sir. Not ever, never. Hope getting out here wasn't too much of a hassle for you guys. Oh, weird. Hey, who the hell... Who the hell are all these people? Right now, we just know Gary, Francine, Megan, Cliff. We just met Pete. But who the hell are these two? Or is that me? Is that Emily? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's Emily. But who is this? We haven't even met her yet. Where the hell is she? Oh, weird. Emily, for real, the drive was fine. It would be like nothing for miles except trees, and then once every hour, we'd see cows or something. At one point, we stopped at one of those roadside boiled peanut stands, and we saw the guy ladle some of the hot nut water into his mouth, so we left without getting any. <laughs> Alright, that, no, that, that's 100% some Game grump shit. They put that in there, in those words, on purpose, 100%. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... It sounds to me like you saw something that made you feel funny. What is this dialogue? What is happening? I should tell a trusted adult right away. Oh, that's Laura. Okay. Did a joke just go over my head? With my weird hair? It's kind of a tall, uh, tall order. <laughs> I get it. Um, I feel like this is one of those Emily Francineisms, and none of us speak that language. Wait. Oh god, I'm getting my voices mixed up. Wait, you... Francine. Wait, you guys don't know this story? So, like, do you guys remember when the local arts council held that mini-con in the spring? I got a booth and was crunching like crazy to churn out little paintings and zines, while also doing homework. Poorly. And because I'm a good friend, I offered to help set things up to make our life easier. That, and I wanted an excuse to hang out and people and people watch. Emily sends me to Kinko's to pick up a box of freshly printed and very glossy, nice auto bio zines. Get them, get back to the con, just in time for the show to get going. I was excited to see how the books came out because I was nervous about full bleeds and whatnot. And when I opened the box, it's not my zines. It was instead fully packed with a variety of public safety and surprisingly Christian pamphlets. Like, the kind you get in dare or the ones assholes leave instead of tips. <laughs> I'm panicking because the print job... Yeah, Landon, uh, you can... Yeah, you can find, uh... If you... Actually, if you go in on my Discord, uh... Matthew's nickname is the Holland Chainsaw Massacre-er. <laughs> I'm panicking because the print job was expensive and I was hoping to make my money back. And now I have a box of the shit people try to hand you at the grocery store. And the booth next to us saw the whole thing and wanted to read them. And I'm standing there feeling like the biggest idiot on planet Earth for ruining my friend's show. Then Emily fans them out on the table, scribbles a little sign that says one dollar, and those things start selling like hotcakes. <laughs> Turns out disaffected stoners really love dare ephemera. Ever since, little snippets of those pamphlets will just randomly pop on, pop into my head. Drinking ain't cool, don't be a fool. Radon might be right behind you, but don't get fried, stay inside. All right. Don't get fried, stay inside. Was that about, like, staying away from down power lines? No, but it may as well have been. It was about staying inside during thunderstorms. Christ, as a kid, I loved swimming during thunderstorms. It was such a thrill freaking weirdo and that's why you're a bad influence Francine you made the best mistake possible you saved me from having other people see cartoons of my uns of me unsuccessfully trying to convince the Krispy Kreme employees to let me have some of the burned up donuts that got stuck in the production line and having an inexplicable panic attack in the parking lot <laughs> I used to get bags big bags like Santa Claus sized sacks of Krispy Kreme donuts uh, out of the dumpster at Krispy Kreme. Like, they'll throw away, like, good donuts in, you know, like, sealed plastic bags. 
And I'd just go liberate a whole damn bag and like show up to a party, drop it on the floor, and we just tear it open. And people would just like, just anytime someone would walk by all night, you know, be drinking, smoking, whatever the hell we were doing, and reach into the bag and grab a friggin' donut. And, uh, <laughs> so unhealthy, so ungodly unhealthy, but it was great. No one ever needed to buy food because we had donuts for days. Literally, donuts for days. No one needs to see that. The panic attack. So thank you again for fucking up so bad. Did they let you have the donuts? They did not. So you really took to the you really took those old bro or you really took those old brochures literally, huh? What do you mean? Don't get fried, stay inside is like almost literally something I've heard you say. I remember one summer you wouldn't stop talking about tornadoes for weeks. You know what? I, I just realized I need to go find my binoculars. I'll be right back. This whole conversation is bizarre. Absolutely nuts. What the hell is happening? And this apparently would not have happened had I not returned to the menu and then reloaded my save. It's messed up that they don't just let you have the donuts. Yeah, it's real messed up. They just throw all that food, all those resources away because they can't monetize it. Welcome to the glories of money. Uh, I mean, they're just gonna go in the trash anyway. Exactly. They don't even donate them. Like, there are, there are laws, supposedly health code laws, prote you know, protecting people from giving away the leftovers in a restaurant at the end of the night. And it's just like, bro, really? You couldn't just, like, hand them out to some homeless people at least? Like, come on. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, Em, you doing okay in here? Yeah, I just needed a second. You said that, yeah, like 14 minutes ago. Well, I told the gang I would bring these binoculars along for the trip, so I've been looking for them, and I don't think they're here. So now, um... Curled up in a ball, trying not to hyperventilate? Be a friggin' freak? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured. I thought you were doing great. I haven't seen you this on in a while. I think 20 minutes of... Oh, I think 20 minutes of on is all I can do. And I think I can only do that because Francine's wingmanning me. It's embarrassing. When we met, I was all Captain Cool, helping Francine keep her shit together. But I'm not like I was back then in school. I don't even recognize that person. You don't have to be perfect for them to like you. You're their friend. They already like you. Do they like me or do they just like whoever that was? <laughs> Whatever this is. Unless you've been quietly struggling with demonic possession or something, whoever that was is still you. Look, look, I don't want to make you feel any more guilty about it, but I can only talk to your friends about data analysis for so long. You're fine. You're safe. They missed you. <sighs> Even if they'll never forgive you for not being able to find the binoculars. Ha <laughs> Got him. Come on, I'm making tea. This is so weird. Like, where and when are we right now? What is happening? What, did you need a pair of binoculars to find that pair of binoculars? <laughs> 420 blaze it, bro. <laughs> Get your feet off my table, you prick. Jesus, what are you, my mom? I just don't want you ruining my table. I eat on that. God, fine. Jerk. What the hell is with his hair? Like he's got a man bun on the front of his head. What even is that? What is happening? Cliff, we need to talk about that binocular joke. That was just... I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> that sounds like Big Mayonnaise making fun of me for my awful jokes. Uh, Megan, Megan, Megan. Oh yeah, M, it's okay. Laura turned it off. I know. You're really worried about this, huh? Like, you're worried about me ruining your table? Cliff, cool it. I'm... Oh, I'm just messing around. This is... Uh, my brain is actually struggling doing so many different voices at once. This is a lot. Okay. Alright, Megan. Megan, Megan, Megan. What's Megan's voice? Oh, yeah. Uh... You guys, this apartment is so cute. This seems like a really nice area. 
Will we even be able to see the shower out here with all the light pollution? Come on, it's not that bad if you go like a mile out of town. Anyway, the moon is just a tiny crescent tonight. Barely any competition for the Persades. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's just how we're gonna go with the, the per pers Perseids. Perseids. Okay, all right. As in Perseus. That must be some kind of astronomical term. <laughs> hot nut water got me thinking. Yeah, me too. The, the hot nut water would probably be good. Yeah, you would like the hot nut water, you weirdo. Super umami, yeah. Obviously, but hot nut water guy also got me thinking. I feel like travel becomes way less stressful once you just accept that things in a new place are going to be uncertain and weird instead of trying to control every last detail. Just go with the flow. Like that time we were out in the mountains and decided to follow signs for a family fun center. Oh, here's this story again. And ended up in a burnt down old ghost town with no sign of escape? Totally. The creaking of a distant rocking chair, unreadable old billboards bleached white by the sun. Gotta love that percolating sense of unknowable danger. Guys, guess what? I'm changing the subject. What are we gonna get for dinner? I could go for some za, brah. I think we can do better than za. Emily, you live here. Where should we get food? Uh, dinky little diner. Super authentic Italian Thai, all the way, baby. That's one of my favorite cuz favorite cuisines. Sure, yeah. Let's just get let's just get a pizza. It's not what I picked, but okay. Uh, in that case, we'd better get going if we're gonna get to Domino's before they close. Crud. O okay, let me just do the rounds of the apartment real quick before we go. Emily, seriously, you're still worried about your knobs? What? It's not that unreasonable. An apartment next door to mine was like, I guess, a crash pad for pilots who were coming into the airport down the road. The city shut off our gas and nobody was around to turn the pilot light back on. No pilots for the pilot light? They had one job. Ha 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 ha! Funny joke! I'm taking heed for the binocular joke and you can get away with that one. Right? Anyway, with the pilot light off, the room just slowly swelled with gas. By the time the landlord finally came by to shut off the valve, the apartment was so filled with gas that the windows had bowed out from the pressure. I worry about that too. The thing that bothers me is, like, what happens if my lungs are full of gas and it ignites? My lungs getting, like, all burned up from the inside? Wouldn't the gas need oxygen to ignite? What's in my lungs if not oxygen? Guys, I, I think we should stop talking about this. Why should we? Listen, gas isn't some magic murder monster coming to kill you. You turn the knob and it's off. That's it. Pete, help me out here. I just realized now the cam is... Pete? My face cam is on top of part of the dialogue. Okay. Um, well, balls. I don't care for that. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is move myself over here. We'll just... Um, I don't know. Let's swap places with the cat cam. Let's put the let's put the kate down in the bottom left corner. We'll do that. Well, can we? It's gonna be weird. Great. Okay. Whatever. That I'll have to do. And transform. Flip horizontal. Okay, so there we go. Maybe if I. Okay. All right. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Then, move me up here, and also transform flip horizontal. Okay. Go right about here. I think you should still be able to see the time in that upper right corner. All right. Exactly. Thank you. That's just what I'm talking about. Look, let me put this to rest for you, Emily. Oh, he's got to be the cool greaser guy. Flip out the Zippo lighter. See? And did we all die in a blazing inferno? No, so you can relax now. Wow, Cliff, you're right. I'm so relaxed. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment.
What just happened? <laughs> what the fuck was that? This game is such a mind fuck, dude. That was a very long sequence. Um, very weird. Very, very weird. But that's okay. <sighs> All right, so what are we doing? Are we going to hit that puzzle upstairs? I don't know, man. I just don't know. I don't get it. Let's uh, speed things up. Wait, have I? I don't know if I've been in this room yet. Just a bathroom. Uh, <laughs> wow, okay. Classy. Real classy. A class act. What's this? Another pump. The output pressure on this pump should be set, should be set to 12 PSI at all times. Do not touch. Well, it's not set to 12. It's set to nothing. So I've got to figure out how to get... Ah, ah, okay, I gotta turn, okay, that's the on button. So it'll probably be the same with the other one as well. Oh, I see. What was, what did it max out at? It was either 15 or 18. Oh. Oh no. Okay, yeah, it always maxes out at 20. So let's... 3, 4, 5. Maybe that will subtract 5? I don't know. No, 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 no. That, okay. All right, I see. So those are all single unit increments. And then the one on the right is by 5, I think. So... So it's eight. It's eight units. It fills. Oh, I see. Okay. So the number on. The, okay. Now, all right. Now I'm getting it. So it's going to fill eight uh, sections, eight notches, right? So we need 12. Oh. That still takes it to 20. And then... Oh, 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 okay, I think... I think, do I get what's happening? Okay, yeah, 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 okay, all right. All right, so... All right. So now, okay, all right. Now it's blocked off on the left. So we're st oh, we're still maxing out at 20. Okay. So... No, that's not right with somebody. Oh, God. Oh, shoo, God. So when the lightning strikes and cuts the power out, or the, the power cuts out when the lightning strikes, that's when that door downstairs opens. I guess the emergency power 
or something, whatever. Like this might... Yes! Yes! All right, we got it. Got it. Great. How the hell did this even happen? Yep, inspect crawl space. Illich brand static pressure pumps operations basics. Every, every Illich, Illich brand static pressure pump comes with a configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. Normal cylinders increase PSI output by one, one per unit of fluid. Heavy duty cylinders reinforced with a bulkier housing increase PSI output by five per unit of fluid. Input of input fluid amount is displayed on the left. Output PSI val value is displayed on the right. Okay, you're telling me what I already figured out on my own, so... That's it. Well, maybe that... Maybe that accomplished something new? I don't know. Uh... Oh, oh god. Okay, so what do we got here? Panel... Cellar box. Okay, yeah, we got that. Yep. Yeah. I like how they're all linked. That's cool. Pumps guide. Right, 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 right. Okay, well... I don't know. What now? Well, the power's off, so let's see if we can get downstairs before we aggro the friggin' freak. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's open. Great, good news, everyone. Great news. That's freaky. So does this mirror the music setup on the second floor, that weird room? A tunnel near the floor that when I look into the darkness seems to stretch into infinity. Just looking at it makes me want to hyperventilate. I don't much want to know what's on the other end, but metal bars stop me from finding out. Good! I don't want to find out. I'd, I'd much rather not, thank you. Okay, we've already done this, but... I guess I have to... This Okay, this is one that I do have to do again. Alright, well now we know how this works. Uh, but there's no post-it telling... Hmm. What does this one need to be set at? Do we know that yet? Doesn't look like it. That one's not even listed in the memory thing. That's weird. Front door lock. Okay. It's showing, showing something interactable here, but it's, that's weird. Hmm. Anybody got any ideas? What are we doing here? What's happening? I got zero ideas. That switch doesn't work. That's great. Well, back upstairs is the last place I want to go, but whatever. How is no one dead yet? I'm legitimately surprised that no one's dead yet. Oh, I hear him. I'm sure he's upstairs somewhere. Hey buddy, how we doing? This is fantastic. This is just fantastic.
don't think there's anything about that pump. Hmm. Well, it's already full. I think I'm missing something. I'm not ready to solve this yet. I love it when games tell you whether or not you can you're, you can do something yet. I like that. I don't know what the deal is with that. I bet the I bet the noise that I need to make upstairs has to match this. So, do I have that in my memory log anywhere? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will this... No, 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 it's not. Where's... Here we go, locker. No, it doesn't... It doesn't play the sound. Damn. sudden getting stutters that's weird oh hi hi there bud hey buddy buddy fella friend guy person hi hi dead francine hello how are you open the door please thank you okay we're gonna go in here we're gonna hide hide please hurry up thank you emily okay all right we're safe maybe Probably. Who really knows? Whoa! No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. We are safe now. Maybe. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's, yep. There, there it goes. <sighs> okay. Well. We are... We're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe, sort of, probably, definitely. Hey, Emily, you holding up okay? So, Emily, uh, do you want to hear a secret? You, you want to see my dick? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. Good. The combination to the cellar lock is hidden behind the weird bars in the cellar. Okay, why... How do I look at them then? Guess this means you need to figure out how to open the color bar lock on the gate. Oh yeah, he mentioned that, the color bar lock. See you later. I like that they also give you hints. <laughs> I, uh, for someone who struggles with, you know, puzzle games and, you know, games like Zelda and Resident Evil where you're constantly like figuring out where to go. So, like, even knowing where to go and where to go next is part of the overarching puzzle. I honestly hate that. It is one of my least favorite things about video games. I don't like running around like a chicken with my head cut off with absolutely no direction. It's like, if I'm struggling with something, I am perfectly happy for the game to give me a hint. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, exactly. It seems a bit too difficult. Like, there are definitely plenty of people who would enjoy the challenge and would be able to figure it out. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I'm not going to turn down a little assistance. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> I may be intelligent on paper, but uh, I'm not good at puzzles. I'm not the most, like... I'm not the most creative person in a vacuum. I'm very good at being creative, like derivative off other things. And creativity is kind of that, the ability to like conjure something creative or funny from thin air a lot of times is also associated, in my mind at least, with puzzle solving ability. Like I need something to work with. I can't just create something from a vacuum. The way my mind works. A lot better at these kinds of mini games. Yeah, for sure. 
The teal wire leads up to a box with a little spotlight. Okay, let's check out the teal wire while we're waiting for the lightning to strike so I can actually do anything. Or maybe I should just go talk to my friends. A teal wire comes up out of the floor and leads along the hallway. Oh! Oh god. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, Francine, you friggin' weirdo. Hey, Gary, you other friggin' weirdo. Let's go talk to somebody else. But yeah, I, I gotta say, like, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm impressed with this game. I like the vibe. Um, I like the emphasis on, like, mental health and how it weaves it in with a, with a horror tale. Um... And like, you know, totally relatable mental struggle, mental and social struggles. Cave pretty fast and Google for a walkthrough. Yeah, I mean, I, you've, you've probably, well, you may have noticed in, in other playthroughs that I, I tend to do that a lot. You know, I would, I would have more patience for that kind of stuff. If it weren't for the fact that I'm, you know, oh god. If it weren't for the fact that I'm live streaming, though. Um, you know, that's a big part of it is like, you know, you don't want to just have a whole bunch of dead air, dead air while you're live streaming for an audience, you know. So I try and minimize that amount of time, but um, it also sucks having to look stuff up while I'm live because it kind of breaks the immersion, but, you know, whatever. It's either that or I run around and get frustrated, and that's not fun for anybody. Well, I don't know. Some people might enjoy me getting frustrated, but that's why we're going to play only up here soon. <laughs> anyway, there's a strange power box mounted into the wall. It looks like it could provide power to one of two cables that leave the box on the left and right sides, but the box itself needs to be powered on first. There's a yellow and black striped cable coming into the bottom of the box from the floor. The yellow cable leads from the left side and the foyer. The teal cable leads from the right side. Okay, so there's the teal cable. Hey, what's up, Smells? How you doing, buddy? You sit there 30 minutes on the same puzzle, I'll fall asleep so I understand. <laughs> Hell yeah. And that's also, that's one thing that's cool about the killer is like, you know, e eventually you have to move. So if you can't figure out a puzzle, the killer forces you, flushes you out and then it kind of gives, it kind of jogs you into, you know, maybe checking something else out. Um, and it keeps, uh, kind of keeps the game flowing. So I really, I really like this setup. Just woke up from a five hour nap. Fuck working early. I heard that. I heard that. That shit is for the birds. Cheep, 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 cheep. It's open. Oh. Well, this is new. It's open to a page about the old PC in the master bedroom. Apparently, it's got an auto exec set to launch Minesweeper as a demo mode, which we're welcome to try as a curiosity. However, after use, we're asked to spray compressed air between the keys to ensure their longevity. <laughs> Apparently, we we're supposed to pack our own compressed air. Weird. Weird. Worms are gross. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess what... Uh, is there is there some context I need to know about there or you just, you just said that just to say it <laughs> Worms are weird well, we did the minesweeper already, but that's good to know there might be hints in that book as well So all right, let's talk to Megan See what old Megan's up to. Hey Megan Megan Hey Emily Oh, working early is for the birds. The early bird gets the worm. Oh, nice. Nice. I like it. I like it. I approve. <laughs> I don't like worms. Okay. Oh, I just realized my friggin' face cam is way too far out. I never fixed that. Sorry, everybody. We're kind of... Uh, kind of learning and experimenting. And now the cat cam is in the way of the fucking... All right, you know what? Cat cam goes here. Lucy Fur and I are just going to be on the same side of the screen, and you're all just going to have to deal with it. It's such an eyesore, right? Right? Totally. I guess that'll do. All right. Uh, uh, can I please? There we go. Transform. Flip horizontal. There we go. There we go. 
Is Mayo clickbaiting us? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Go dislike that stream. <laughs> uh, okay. Why is my... Okay. My monitor was leaning forward, so I pushed it, I fixed it, and then it went too far back. All right, that'll do. Anyway. Don't forget... Yeah, thank you, Landon. Thank you. Um... What do you mean by clickbait? What's what's happening? What's he doing? He's still gonna tune into it. I feel like I'm in a dream, a nasty, confusing dream. Or we'll just say, I'm sorry I'm late. What's up, Emily? Small talk isn't so bad, right? I may be in hell, but at least I can talk to my friends. It's it's nothing. Megan, do you have a memory of something strange happening? Like something in this house? Titled his stream, We Need to Talk, and the thumbnail is I Quit. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. He did say he was making a big announcement last night, and then when he found out about the whole Starfield thing, he shifted gears. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. Definitely sounds like clickbait. But, uh, it also sounds like there might be a bit there. It's worth, it's worth, uh, you know, snatching. Um, anyway. Whoa, Emily, no, I don't. And I promise you that I would. It's been a long weekend. That thing is going to be back soon. You know, if I'm being honest, I was worried that this weekend wasn't going to go too well. Sure, I was a little worried too. Glad I'm not alone. It's been really nice seeing everybody. How's the trip been treating you so far? It's going okay. We've been having fun and it's good to see everybody. Everybody seems to have chilled out over the last couple years. Even Cliff, though he's been a little testy as usual. <laughs> Unsubbing. <laughs> oh yeah, what's up, Swole? How are you? By the way, don't let me forget to greet my good friend. Mayo doesn't quit, I'm unsubbing. Nature is cool and everything, but I think we're all getting tired. I would have been content to sit here and game the whole time. Yeah, I feel you, sister. Cliff's been good? Could have fooled me. As opposed to straight up bad like he used to be? Yeah, he seems a little less rude at least. Still pretty goddamn rude, but it's been good catching up with him, so I've been humoring him more than usual. You guys already went out to watch the Perseids? We went last night, yeah. It was a bummer not to have the whole group there, but it was good. Did you actually see a comment? Nope. I gave my eyes time to adjust and everything. Burn the stars into my retinas. The Perseids are supposed to be at the peak this whole weekend, so it's not too late. Not that the media shower is actually why we do this. Francine and Cliff both said they saw one last night. What are you playing? This is a game called Purd Mystery. It's a super rare game that's mostly on unlicensed copies like this one. I'm the little guy with the hat. I'm getting attacked by birds, I guess? They're throwing eggs at me. Sounds like seven days to die. Bird, bird, bird. <laughs> uh, wait, what is a purd? Hey, what's up, Zeoplix? How you doing, dude? Welcome, happy Friday. And, oh yeah, we asked that. I, I don't know, that's what it says on the front. Pado. Other than the fact they're irrationally violent, I don't know if they're different from normal birds. Is that a typo or what? Either that or birds are a distinct animal, like the aliens or something, only coincidentally similar to earth birds. It says it's an egg jump action game. Too bad that genre never took off, am I right? <laughs> Alright, Megan. I'll talk to you later. Cool. You have fun with purred mystery. Sky was beautiful earlier. Oh, really? Anything special going on? It's interesting considering we're playing a game about a bunch of teenagers meeting up to watch a meteor shower. Oh, hey, Francine. Uh, okay, the power still hasn't struck, or the um, lightning still hasn't struck. Awesome combination of orange and purple. Very nice. Very nice. What's up? Hmm. 
I would like to get one more puzzle complete before we leave. Oh, yeah. While I'm thinking about it, since Mayo's finally got his stream scheduled, I'm going to go ahead and set up to redirect to that. Oh, I don't see it on here. Let me refresh the page. There's the power. And the door's open. Hell yes. All right. One second here, everybody. Let me just set up this redirect. Or try to, anyway. Yeah, there we go. I quit. Oh my god. It literally just says I quit. That's funny. Okay, there we go. We are set up to redirect to the BME once we finish over here on the WTI. Um, okay. Okay, so we can do one of two things. We can go upstairs and try to emulate this sound. Um, or... We can do what Pete is suggesting and fiddle with this thing over here. But the question is, where do I get the code for that? Okay, I think we have to turn on the power here. Titles an I quit stream at 9 p.m. Schedules a night. Oh, he scheduled separate streams. Interesting. Very interesting. No. 1979. I don't know. Let's just, let's rifle through it and just see what happens, I guess. Is that footsteps? Stanfield stream. <laughs> You're all gonna get hit by a meteorite. I mean, that could very well happen. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I'm probably, it's probably, it's probably supposed to be one, two, three, four. Okay, all right. Oh! Oh, I got it on accident! <laughs> Hell yeah! Alright, it was not one, two, three, four, but I don't... Uh, that works. Alright, an invoice for the delivery of two industrial-grade Galneron generators to the house. Attached is a handwritten note. Parker, I thought your accumulator was an acoustic device. Why are we suddenly looking to generate more power than we could use in a year? Clara. Radon! The silent killer. Silent no longer. Odorless, colorless, deadly. Radon may even have infiltrated your home already. The most dangerous thing you can't see, hear, taste, or smell. Did you know? Thousands die from radon exposure every year. Radon comes from the natural breakdown of uranium found in the soil your home is built on and the water you drink. Radon is the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. Radon attaches itself to dust particles in the air. The amount of radiation, 4 PCI per liter of radon, is equal to 100 chest x-rays. The symptoms of radon poisoning will not appear until you have lung cancer or are about to. See a doctor immediately. Is all that true? I should probably... I should probably consider the fact, you know, that maybe uh, radon is bad in my house. Um, yeah, hey, welcome back, Absol. Considering there were only the numbers 1, 2, and 3... Oh, it was only 1, 2, and 3. That sound. Nate should keep streaming tonight and title it, I quit more. <laughs> Take the viewers from that clickbaiter. <laughs> Do quit smoking. Uh, don't wait. Radon may already be inside your home. Don't let your, uh, do test your home for radon. Don't let annual home maintenance slip. Do repair foundation damages and filter your drinking water and don't ignore deadly signs like wheezing, shortness of breath, or coughing up blood. Make sure your family is safe from the dangers of radon with Tunston brand radon test kits. Okay, let's examine the schematics. 278, all right, we got another number, cool. And that should go in the memory log. 
This must be the combination to get into the cellar. Now I'll be able to get it down here before the power goes out. Yes, yes, hello. Hell yeah. Sorry. I read Absol saying hi and was trying to say hell yeah and said hello, but whatever. That's my brain in a nutshell. Okay. Well, at least I can get down here without waiting now, but that it doesn't that feels like half progress, you know what I mean? Um well, we could we could try the numbers here. I'm sure these are going to be three different numbers, but what was it uh 278? Is that what it was? Uh, here we go. Yeah, two seven eight. No. Negative. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a start, I guess. I'm thinking next we probably need to, because uh, that, that first note we read was talking about the acoustic device. So I think we need to... I wish I had some function where I could very quickly and easily just hotkey record a sound and then play it back for myself. I don't really know how to do that, though. But I think we need to go upstairs and try and replicate that sound on the weird soundboard that's up there. And try. I wish it kept the sound. Oh God! Oh, I wish it kept the sound in the memory log. Jesus Christ, that startled me. Come on, you weirdo. Take a sip of my kombucha. While we're waiting, you know. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. Okay. You know, old school tank controls and fixed camera angles aren't so bad. I used to hate them uh, growing up as a kid. That's why I never actually played Resident Evil until October last year. Which, at some point, I'm going to have to go back and beat the Resident Evil 1 remaster. I just, I don't think I'm going to play through the entire game all over again. I think I'll probably just start from the old save, and if anyone wants to watch my shitty old <laughs> Let's Play from last October. Okay, that noise is in there. Okay, I want to say that this one is middle purple. The last one is top purple. That doesn't sound right. Not gonna lie, this game looks awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a very um I think we're screwed. Yeah, we're screwed. Here he is. Damn it. Um I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's just very it's very mel it's very well made. Um it's very well written. It's it's challenging and repetitive, but in a way like, you know, it it will hold your hand a little bit, but not to an excessive degree, and only if you keep fucking up like I do. Um I don't know, and the, you know, the character was the char wow. The characters are super relatable, or at least Emily is. Like the whole the whole social anxiety thing, the whole fucking like clearly it sounds like she's got friggin', you know, imposter syndrome and a little ADHD going on. It's like that's that's hella relatable for a lot of folks. Um Okay. Okay, we can get down here now before the lightning strikes, but I, what I really want is to be able to get in that room upstairs because I think this is what we need to do next. Challenge D's. You can hold D's to an excessive degree. <laughs> uh, hmm. 
Well, let's check the book again, see if there's anything helpful here. It's a binder full of rules, yeah, yeah, yeah. About stove maintenance. I guess we need to soak the stove top with a degreaser for 10 minutes after use. 20 if we use oil. Okay. Interesante. What's cooking? Fire safety in the kitchen. Okay. Hmm. Whole little quiz in it and everything, so. Something about oil. Hi, Cliff. Hey, Emily. I'm, I'm glad you made it. Listen, I'm busy. There's a lot going on. I need some space. Oh, he's warming up a little bit, though. He at least acknowledged our existence. And apologized for being coy. Oh, hey, this wasn't open before, was it? Oh, okay, all right. Well, let's see. What can we do here? Oh. Right, right. Okay, so we need, I, I'm assuming that we need to line, oh, wait. Okay, there's a diagram there. Okay, so we either route the positive to the positive on one side or the other. <sighs> okay. Well, can do, will do, I suppose, or I'm gonna try. Okay, we got negative to negative. There we go. Why is an alarm going off? Okay, what did we do? What did we accomplish? Is that... Oh, it's coming from the front door. The door uh, lock. No way it's that easy. This is far from over. Oh, great! Spaghetti Fields! Spaghetti Fields! Okay, I didn't even get a chance to avoid that. So that was supposed to happen. But we did something, and now we're in a friggin' weird-ass spot. Super, super weird. Hey, it's that guy. Hello, Emily. It is Emily, right? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're that old guy I met at the gas station. At least, I think there was a gas station. My name is Parker Nest. Ah, he owns this place. Do you feel strange spending so much time in my home? Do you? Do you? Your home? We're not really in a mountain retreat in Pennsylvania. That place isn't your home. Is not Rome still Rome? Are these really the last days of the Roman Empire? Please, make sense. Tell me, when that creature, the homunculus, when it attacks you, do you feel it? Do you feel anything when you die? Homunculus? Is that what that thing is? I imagine you must blame me for what's happening to you. Frankly, I do too. Find to whom this cruel world appears, and you will know why it appears so cruel. In the attic, you'll find a device I built. Something Burroughs told me about some time before he pissed off to Tangiers. Called an accumulator. Supposed to aid in cellular, cellular reassembly. I built it believing it would extend my halcyon days. Of course, I was in my fifties. I should have known that time was already behind me. Still, I hoped it would help me regain some of the feeling I once had. Naturally, it didn't. Instead, over time, it made the house, it made you, it made that thing, the homunculus, and it made a liar out of me. The only comfort that brings me, that brings me, the only comfort that brings me regarding the predicament I seem to have gotten you into is that it keeps creating and recreating you. 
but it won't last forever. In fact, I suspect the mere fact that we're having this conversation now is a sign that both of us are in some kind of hot water. The hot nut water that was mentioned earlier in this game, and yes, Swole, uh, this game literally uh, continually references hot nut water. Um, so there you go. There's a little bit of that Game Grumps humor injected into this weird ass, brilliant mind fuck of a game. The red door. Okay. Okay, so let's head to the red door and see what we can figure out. Still locked. This is off again. Now we figured out how to light them all up earlier, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, 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 the teal wire, the spotlight. Power box in the living room powers this thing on. Ah, okay, so maybe that spotlight is pointing at this. I don't know how those relate, but maybe we need to power that. Um, what? When we played with that power box before, we energized the circuit for the d the front door lock. So maybe the other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Because yeah, because the yellow cable's coming out of it, leading it to the door lock, and then the teal wire goes up there. Yeah. Okay. So we just need to route the power the other direction this time. Okay. Cool. All right. This is making sense. So. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, that's what the power, that's what the power switch is for in the basement. Okay, so now we can get in here before the freak show starts. And then, boom, we play a little uh, Minesweeper Redux. Boom, power's on. Power box is now unlocked and open and ready to go, energized. Ready to be routed whichever direction we choose, and we're gonna choose to the right. To the teal. Teal a uh, tequila. that direction okay there we go now it's straight there we go all right we got the power or the positive side uh and we need negative oh no oh no. Uh, okay Um, yeah, 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 maybe that. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. That should work. That should work. Negative is going all the way to negative. Now I just need to get positive. 
routed properly. Uh, am I imagining? Oh, oh, cause that, oh damn, okay. Oh wait, no, 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 that's also not good. Oh, oh God, that scares me every time. something up okay oh god I'm oh I'm getting lost this is hard okay go fantastic all right lightning struck so the killer's around somewhere so we got to hustle so now oh hell what was i doing we're following the teal wire all oh, right 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 okay i'm running i don't know if running uh alerts him faster or not Okay. All right, the light's on. Now what? Memory log updated. Okay. So what was updated? Oh, okay. The light is... Oh, okay. All right, all right. So I think the ones that the light is... Um, for lack of being able to describe myself properly here, I think we need to... Have those and those on. Either that or the opposite. So. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be tough. Seen walking around. Okay, we're good. Well, I got those two on the top. Now, how did I do that? Did it totally on accident, but. here. Oh, there he is. Damn it. Gary, you're gonna die. You realize this? You're going to die. <sighs> okay. That puzzle is a massive friggin' pain in my ass. Alright? I don't know about y'all, but it's a pain in my ass. I don't care much for it. Take Gary and we'll hide in the closet.
there, Mr. Homunculus. How are you doing there, buddy? Please go away. Please go away. I'm just trying to solve this puzzle, dude. Just trying to solve this puzzle. Wait, wait, you, why don't you go downstairs or something? Come on, man. I can't solve this thing with, that, with you lurking around upstairs. Sounds like he's just going to lurk around up here and not go downstairs, which is a real problem. If I have to, I can lead him down to the basement, loop him, and then get away, but that's just annoying. I don't want to have to do all that. Okay. Sort of, kind of, sort of good for now, I guess. Here he comes. We're just gonna hit random buttons until I get it. Because I, I can't, I can't figure this out. <laughs> like... I don't know, dude. I can't get this damn puzzle to save my life. It's impossible. I realize it's not literally impossible, but god damn, it's hard, bro. So at that point, I look at Gary and say, that makes two of us. And Gary clearly wants to back down, but I don't want to back down. And we stared that guy down until he backed off. You intimidated him? Uh, nah, he never wanted to fight. Turns out he was joking. Huh, so that happened at the roadhouse, huh? Yup. Huh. Haven't been to the roadhouse since we were all there together. The first time we watched the Perseids. That must have been, what, like three years ago? Yep. Glad you had occasion to grace us with your presence again. Well, my grandma died very conveniently. You wouldn't have come otherwise, and I thought Pete was a flaky one. Truth? Let's go with truth. I've been really anxious about coming back here. I've been busy! Oh, so no truth, huh? 
So relax, we're supposed to be having fun here. We'll drink out of dirty glasses and watch some falling space garbage and it'll be great. But isn't the bar just outside of town? Where are we going? We're going to the site where I've been working. Why? And why are you telling me this now? We're gonna get to the bar way after everybody else. I told the others a later start time. I wanted to make sure I didn't have to pick up my last check alone. Your last check? Last time we talked, you seemed crazy about that job. Last time we talked was like 14 months ago. My mom owed me some money. It's fine. <sighs> okay. Wait, didn't we just pass the Riverside exit? Isn't that where you said the site was? Do you know what day it is, Emily? August 13th? Friday, August 13th. So what, you're superstitious now? Wait, are you afraid to go back there? Is that why you quit? Nobody sticks around those types of jobs long. You either work a decade, tear your body up, or you quit before you're in too deep. Uh-huh. Buddy of mine, Martin, kind of an older guy, wife and two kids. He's spotting another guy, Brian, as he's bringing in a dump truck full of gravel, laying a foundation. The truck hits a bundle of rebar, the scaffold collapses, Martin falls into the pit, and the truck tips behind him, just enough to dump all of that gravel on top of him. He's chest deep in gravel now, but his arms are free. He's responsive, feeling okay. Miracle. But it turns out, I mean, that's 18 tons of gravel in there with him, right? All that weight, it's pushed all the oxygen in his blood up into his brain. And below the waist, he's crushed. He's just one big bruise. When they pull him out of there, all that blood's gonna go racing to his legs. He's gonna go into shock and his brain's gonna die. So this is it. They bring in his family, explain the situation. They hug him, say goodbye. And then they winch him out and he's gone. That would happen inside. Christ, that's awful, Cliff. They really pulled him out like that? You don't believe me? No, I believe you. It's just. It happened. It happened to somebody I know, Emily. And it's gonna happen to me. Either I live hard and die young like Martin, or I become a lumpy old asshole like my dad. Eyes on the road. I'm not gonna let that happen to you. We're gonna get out of here. Sorry, Cliff. <sighs> Don't mention it. I'm sorry, too. Wait, where are we? How long have we been driving for? A long time, let me tell you now. Come on, take a long time, man. Okay. Let's give this one more go. So, we need... Get downstairs yet again. Two, seven, eight. Come on, Emily, run, Emily, run. Run, Emily, run, run. Run, Emily, run, run. Okay. Power on. God, I have to do this damn... Switcheroo puzzle again. I hate it. That I don't care for is having to uh, repeat very difficult puzzles. But whatever. Alright, so. Hmm. Okay. Bus slides in. No. Screw that up, okay. All right. <sighs> I'm gonna do this before. Mm. 
Okay, there. Plus slides in again. Well, now it's not. <laughs> This is this is the tough part. <laughs> Oof. Tough fart. Okay, negatives. Negatives on. But King has gone crazy. What happened? What is what has he done? What fresh new hell has he created for the world? Damn it. Damn this puzzle, man. quit <laughs> oh man I don't, oh, this is so hard you know play video games now ah yes yes okay all right I figured that must have been the announcement he and I have discussed that on the side but um not uh he had not yet made the announcement, so... Oh, well, he's gone and done that. Good for him. Yeah. I'm, I'm of a, a somewhat similar mind as him. As soon as I get these watch hours, I'm gonna scale back on streaming. I'm still gonna be doing gaming-related content. And doing regular streams, just I'm trying to go in a different uh, direction creatively in addition to what I'm already doing. Okay, now the freak's going to be on the loose and we haven't even solved this puzzle yet. That's great. You had a heart attack. <laughs> I feel that. Mayo is a great streamer, um, and it's you know it's a shame. Um, it's a shame, but at the same time, I hope uh, he can be successful in his new uh, endeavors. I, just, I don't know, man. I don't want to have to do this puzzle again. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up the solution to this. Um, only thing is it's not it's not in the start state so I don't <sighs> yeah true that well I don't know some people do blow up but I mean Let's players these days generally don't. It's a it's a long, slow ride. Negative sides in. Yeah, exactly. You have to do something you're passionate about. Five to ten years, yeah. 
You don't love it enough for that ride? Yeah. I fucked something up. Oh, I've got the negative going to the hot now. Okay, now that's fixed again, but... Great, now Stabby McStabberson is going around stabbing everybody, and I am no... No closer to the solution for this. Fuck, man, this sucks. All right. Just have to look this shit up. I don't know what else to do, man. This blows asshole. Um, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it starts in the same pattern every time. And if it doesn't, then yeah, just fucking kill me, dude. I don't care. If it doesn't start in the same pattern every time, then I'm going to have to figure it out again every single time time that fucking sucks i really hope it's it's static when you start the puzzle because if it is i can look up a solution online but if it's not i'm fucked and we're not playing this shit again so you met the guy who owns the house nest yeah he was making like 15 percent since this time he sure made a big to do about the machine in his attic you should head up there and check it out Pressing the buttons on that attic door machine seems to toggle both that button and the four to the top, bottom, left, and right of it. No shit. I guess you need to whittle away until it matches the pattern from the spotlight. See you later, Emily. Yeah, thanks for telling me what I already figured out, bud. <sighs> okay, um, I don't know. We'll call it wire puzzle. Uh, home buddy... The sequence of lights and go from no, no, that's not the one. Oh, buddy, full walk through. Okay, let's see where are we at. Here's the wires, 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 wires. Oh, we haven't done that one yet. Oh, that was the solution for the. Oh, that was the. That's right. I forgot all about page one ten from the book. We got lucky on that one. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, God, it's going to be different for each one, isn't it? Damn it. Oh, they're going to fuck me. Okay, interacts with a box to reveal a circuit board puzzle. This puzzle, when solved, can do... Yeah, 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 we know. Um, power is being provided from, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, okay. The minimal set of moves to solve the circuit board puzzle in both directions, if it is indeed the same. Okay, all right. Left side solution, no, 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 we want the right side solution. Okay, all right, and we will come back to that. <laughs> Mad at father now for scaring you? Had to watch your baby brother? Well, that's all good. I'm glad you're back. Um, okay, where was I? <clears throat> all right, well, kind of screwed myself because I didn't pause it while I was looking that up, so we just lost time, but... Whatever, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Nobody worry about me. I'll be just fine. Two time for pain. Give it to me one time. 
Give it to me two times. Give it to me three times. Give it to me four times. How's that go? Is it 5447 was my number? Was my number now? Right now, nobody else has that number. One more time, 5447 was my number. Was my number now? Um, I'm probably butchering that song. I haven't listened to Sublime in a long ass time. Uh, okay, so what do they mean by R5? Assume the top left interactable button is L1. Okay, so in descending order. All right. So right side solution, we're going to go R5, R4, R3, L3, R3. Pluses are now linked. No, they're not. Yeah, it's going to be different. Fuck. R2, L1, R1. Yep. Oh, wait. Well. Okay, I'll let y'all have a look at this now. Uh, we've got plus is linked in a very different way. I might have just read something wrong on that as well. I don't know. Uh, okay. There we go. All right. Okay, now we just go up. Let me close this window out so I can see chat. Not that song. <laughs> oh yes, that song. Whoa. What the hell? What was that? Did y'all see that? There was someone like huddled at the corner here. Oh, he's coming. I hear him. Shit. Not yet. Not yet. Damn it. Okay. All right. You know what? We're just going to cheat here, too. Why not? Why not, everybody? Because we don't want to have to do all that shit all over again 40 times. Okay. Pressing a button. Yeah, 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 yeah. Top right. Okay. Let's see. Top right. Oh, wait, I, I did that wrong. Top right, center right, center left, bottom left. Boom. All right, we're in. We're in. Fantastic. That's wonderful. Why am I cheating? Because I'm not trying to repeat that shit over and over again. We did it several times and failed. And uh, we're not close to the solution at all whatsoever. So I'm willing to admit defeat in order to move forward because that was the first time we've had to use a walkthrough so far so you know what i'm good with that don't judge me doc if you are really a doctor muted what why would i be muted For the video. What about it? What's happening? Oh, okay. All right, Parker, again, I was locked out of the attic today because I couldn't solve your little puzzle. Oh, on your end. Oh, okay, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> okay. I was like, what is wrong with my hardware? Because it is... Everything is... Correct. I don't understand... Wait, actually... Uh, no, 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 no. No, absolutely. We're not... We're not doing that. Troll, lol, lol, lol. Yes, cat, indeed. <laughs> yes, it's a kitty cat. <laughs> In fact, actually, really could stand to adjust the camera on that a bit. 
wonder if we can just tweak it a little bit. Oh, I totally fucked it up. Great. <laughs> this thing's this thing's got like a little uh, a little gimbal, so uh, it kind of rotates freely. All right. I uh, don't understand what's so difficult about it. Next time you need to get into the attic, just press the buttons in this order. P. I'm not saying I want a guide to your puzzle. I'm saying you should install a normal lock, you dipshit. Attic. Hey, uh, can anyone tell is Mayo live yet on Starfield? And if he's not, someone please let me know when he does go live on Starfield. Who knew making a song can be so annoying? Oh yeah, it's tough. It's tough. He is live. Three big gnarly cables. They look like they carry a lot of power. Two of them disappear into the floor. The other goes into this spiky looking machine. Is that thing a lightning rod? Yes, it is. We've read documents that described exactly this. That's good. This is progress. Oh, show. What do we have to interact with? Check machine. Oh, lowered the shroud. Sounds like opening this machine made something break downstairs. Okay. Is that good or bad? Or indifferent? Um... Okay, so now we need a number for this. I don't think we have one yet. Interesting, that's crossed off. Oops. Ooh. Hmm. That's not what we're looking for. I don't think we have what we need for this just yet. Let's see what else. We can inspect this machine. It's a box with three lights and a big old mad scientist switch. It looks like it provides power to the accumulator. The three power cables go into it from below. I guess I need to follow them to the three power sources if I want to turn this thing on. Okay. How many endings? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if there are multiple endings or not. Um, so uh, a couple months ago when this came out, I watched Game Grumps play. They played the first uh, just one episode of it just kind of as a demo. You know, they they financed and developed the game. Um, but. Uh, huh. Other than that initial, like, however long they played, I'm well past that point. I know next to nothing about it. A broken, exposed wire. Touching this would be very bad. Touch. <laughs> uh, that was a dumb thing to do. That was a very dumb thing to do. Cliff sure was giving you a hard time last night, huh? Now I get to do the puzzles again, yay! You mean when he was ribbing me about burning to death? I think he thought he was helping. Tough love. He could have at least apologized. Pretty sure he was waiting for me to thank him. Oh wait, Emily. Pretty sure he was waiting for me to thank him. Anyway, thanks for sticking up for me. I really appreciate it. Of course. You would have done the same for me. Remember the time we were trapped in Brockridge Mall waiting for the storm to pass? They keep saying like, hey, remember this? Remember that? Remember this? Remember that? And I just keep thinking of Family Guy like, hey, you remember Lois? You remember that time when we did black tar heroin, Lois? Yeah, Lois? Black tar heroin? That ain't raining on a waterfall, yeah, right? That's some weird ass rain. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was just thinking about it. Maybe because of the torrential rain. 
The parking lot was shaped like a bowl with the mall at the center and the sewers clogged and the whole thing flooded. They wheeled in a generator to keep the lights on while they waited for the city to bring in a pump to drain all the water. It took so long we ended up having to stay the night. I remember trying to sleep with the sound of the generator, as if the worry wasn't already keeping me awake. Yeah, for a while you seemed really stressed. You were sure you were sure the dome would break and the water would pour in. <laughs> like it was the end of the world or something. You weren't scared? I didn't love it, but I think I like getting closed off like that. Always nice to have fewer variables, you know? Being able to focus on one big scary unknown kind of distracts from all the other other little unknowns. So, for those of you who aren't already aware, uh, I'm a recovering addict, and I just got goosebumps on that one, um, because that's basically what my life was for 10 years, just focusing on one big scary, in this case it was a known quantity, but I chased dope basically all day every day for a long ass time, and uh, chasing one high, one higher the next, and... Uh, Life is better now, but life is much more complex and complicated and confusing and messy um, because I don't have that one simple singular focus to latch on to. So I identify with that statement on a deep fucking level. I tried to think about it like one of those CD-ROM puzzle games we used to play. That's really smart. I almost let all the worries... I almost let all the worry get to me, but you were so cheerful, so brave, that I ended up having kind of a good time. Even though, you know, we could have drowned. <laughs> Emily, are you okay? Yeah, I... I'm just wondering what would have happened if it had kept flooding, if the city hadn't been able to stop it. Like, could we have done anything about it? Or would we just be out of luck? Why are you suddenly so worried about something that already happened? Sure, things went fine that night, but what about next time? You mean, next time we're trapped in a flooding mall? This is so cool, man. This is a really good game. This is really fucking good. I love how linear and non-linear it is simultaneously. So fucking cool, man. So fucking cool. Um, all right, so, yeah, come on, cat. Why did you click away from a damn stream? I don't wanna watch Jesus and Nazareth. Um, no offense to anybody who does love Jesus, but not my thing personally. Um, I just wanted to check on something real quick here. Yes, indeed. Big Mayonnaise is live. I need to pee, and I am ready to call it for the night. So, um, I want to thank you all for being here. It's been a great stream. Uh, we're going to go raid my good friend and colleague, Big Mayonnaise, and watch him play uh, more of the uh, early access for Starfield. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll be hanging out in the chat over there and uh, playing Starfield on the side myself. Not on stream, of course. But, uh, yes. Anyway, thank y'all so much. Y'all have a wonderful evening, and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Um, yeah, you show up at the end. <laughs> Hello, 